Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to the Utah Macross Gacha video. And then this time round, for this episode, we are going to talk about the two gachas that are currently available for the Kuji event, uh, which belongs to the Kaname and Mikumo. Uh, Mikumo's being that is a brand new episode played um, and designed for her old costume. So if you guys are new players, you are uh, you definitely want to focus on trying to maybe unlocking Mikumo's old costume with this brand new episode plate of course the gacha also features her previous old episode plate that comes with the costume points that you see right before you and let's take a look at Mikumo's brand new episode plate first before we take a look at Kaname's brand new swimsuit costume for the summer line all right so 3866 total score um, Pretty normal nowadays considering that this is like the new average total score that you can get um, from new plates ever since I guess the since second anniversary <laughs> uh, which was a year ago we just passed the third anniversary for all time across of course you want to pay attention to who else can use this episode plate because now that we have the Utahime event uh, plates that are versatile with other divas maybe your waifu who is a mikumo um yeah come to very importance right now so center skill units total is boosted by 30 percent up not the best percentage you've seen for a single unit um, you know boosting uh, 90 percent is definitely the highest that we've seen so far and well balanced step all around except that they are focusing a bit more on voice so you can tell that you know the current event song uh, well, you just need voice as your main high stat and you should pretty much do well in terms of high score but you know we all know by now that Kuji events uh, rather, they don't really depend on high score they just basically require you to clear missions which is most of the time um, you have to heal yourself uh, at the end of the life you know to, just to get that you know 80% and above HP limit. You know, that's one of the mi main missions that usually come with 120% boost. But sadly to say, this time round, mm, the current event isn't exactly the norm. <laughs> if you guys are following me on my YouTube Facebook page, I have actually informed you guys out there that there is a new set of missions that are currently available in this Kuji event which requires you to really dish out damage during the Valkyrie attack phase because the enemies during the Valkyrie attack phase regenerate HP so um, if you guys have episode plates um, that have the attack feature let me just try and find one for you uh, I have a 6 star, star element plate let's see where is it uh, features Minmei, hey, wait, no, not Minmei, I mean Milane in Minmei's costume and Basara in Hikaru's costume. So we're talking about this, the special note that has the attack note. Um, so yeah, if you have episode plates that have this note available, it is best to equip onto your diva setup right now because of that um, mission's well requirement where the... Um, Valkyrie attack phase, your enemies recover HP during that portion. So yes, you really need to dish out damage to destroy your enemies during the Valkyrie attack phase so that Cho Utahime Mo can be activated which is a requirement for that mission. If you are not able to activate Cho Utahime Mo, you will definitely fail that mission and you will not get that 100% or 120% boost in bonus points which is what you need. Um, to clear you know the basic reward listing and of course to get more medals um, to pull the Kuji boxes yeah, within this event itself so yes pay attention to that if, if you've not been following me on my YouTube Facebook page because maybe somehow you don't use Facebook or you know um, you haven't been keeping up to date so alright um, with the looks of it let's continue on Mikumo's episode plate active skill we have that five second boost or rather five or five second duration 70 percent boost in score which is pretty much a 
norm nowadays for these kind of episode plates that have like uh, uh, active skill, a decent active skill and the main skill would be the life skill itself so let's take a look at Mikumo's life skill here it has that mode score up so if you tap this tiny arrow at the corner you get the full uh, phrase of what the skill does so during the um, Cho Tahime mode you get you know if you mi miss a note's perfect or excellent tap uh, you get a grid and below, basically if you get a grid, a miss, that kind of thing, you will get a 110% boost in score for that tap instead. So, which might actually be better than a perfect tap. <laughs> Technically, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how much um, percentage boost in score a perfect tap does. You know, definitely it's lower than the excellent because excellence gives you way more score than 110%, maybe even 200%. But you know, all these uh, statistic percentages in score while playing, I have no idea because I don't data mine the game. So, um, definitely a great advantage, especially if you're playing an extreme song that you might end up, you know, messing up because the song might be too difficult for you so to get a consistent high score this life skill is definitely a good life skill to have but you just need to have one copy of each series or element the, uh, the episode plate belongs to and you're done being covered with I guess a safety life line, uh, lifeline yeah so this is a yellow series song episode plate so if you've got the blue and the pink ones already, I guess Mikumo's episode plate is a consideration. You know, if you are looking to complete a full set of these mode score up um, series life skill episode plates for your arsenal. So the last page sent me to say Mikumo's episode plate doesn't come with a special note attached to it. Uh, none of the episode plates that have the mode score up ability have come with special notes attached to them so far. So wait till Dana breaks the chain I guess. Alright let's take a look at Kaname's brand new episode plate that just released today and we are going to break it down as usual. Total score 3879, well balanced stats all around, really well balanced stats, just a tiny bit boost on charm but that's fine. No, pay attention to who else can use this episode plate as usual star plate up so star plate series total is boosted by 60% which is fantastic so let's say for example if you have a whole diva setup with all star element series plates you get that wonderful enjoyment of 60% bonus um, to all your star series plates which is fantastic for you know high score achieving um, setups for just the stars song that you're trying to break beyond your limits so fantastic stuff right there um, yeah uh, same as Mikumo 5 seconds 70% up in score and of course I mean, Kaname's plate is somewhat similar to what Mikumo's plate is going for but this time not it's just an improvement on score repeat episode plates so once again both divas gachas are featuring plates that not necessarily you need to have but it would be great to have uh, in your arsenal just in case you want to break your high score achievements or some songs that you've been uh, not playing for a long time so once again let's take a look at the last page no special notes attached to them so yeah Dana has definitely not broken the trend yet for episode plates just like this so let's just wait maybe a little longer but with total scores on these episode plates being quite high um, I say go for them if you don't have any episode plates just like this or you just might want to make use of them because they have fantastic total score to improve the high score uh, achievements um, in either way Kaname's gacha is definitely the way to go if you've already unlocked Mikumo's costume before there is no reason for you to go and pull Mikumo's brand new episode play out unless you're a Mikumo fan then of course I can't stop you and of course you want to have 
all your waifus episode plates if possible definitely i would love to have all my waifus episode plate uh, my waifu is ranka of course but sadly to say you know gacha luck is eh, pretty horrible <laughs> <laughs> so you just gotta make do with what you've got, be happy with what you have. I think unlocking the costumes for your waifus or husband those are the most important thing overall. Cause eventually if they get you know improvements under the Kyawawa rank or color alter uh, alterations um, in Kyawawa rank as well, that is really the most important thing aside from having the episode plates to be used for play. Um, costumes definitely the way to go when it comes to being cons, cons you know? I guess considering which gacha to pull or whether you should pull reissuing gachas like this one which isn't exactly important because these episode plates just look nice but their stats are horrible because they're old episode plates and of course you know, no special notes attached to them and look at the amount of divas that can use this episode plate it's just a nice looking plate but it's not exactly very useful, <laughs> so stay away from reissuing gachas like this. Um, there's a reason why I don't post out information for reissuing gachas unless they are very important or they are just fantastic in terms of um, rewards for the episode plates that are being featured in the gacha. So yeah, uh, Mikumo's or rather Minmei's gacha for her 7 star is going to disappear by the end of today. So if you guys have not attained at least one of the 7 star episode plates or at least their 6 star forms for this month's events, uh, Min Maze is still around, you can give them a try if you have enough singing stones on your hands. But for now, I'm just gonna pull Kaname's discounted template pool and maybe I will move along to Min Maze 7 star gacha because I've yet to attain any of them for this month so my Min Maze is still my last hope to hopefully try and get that fantastic bonus boost that the episode plate provides. So yeah, alright, so let's do this. Gonna pull this. Um, if you're wondering how my luck is for today, it's pretty bad. So I'm not actually expecting anything today. Um, my free template pulls gacha was horrible. Not a single 5 star appeared. Oh, oh, that's the luck. Turn around with this gacha. Maybe not. I mean, Valkyrie animations is just a, a hint. Oh, there was a lag. Oh dear lord, the normal box evolved to a rainbow one. Ooh! Wow. Okay, that was unexpected. So I guess the luck really turned around with this pool. <laughs> okay. So I might not be able to unlock Kaname's costume yet, but I do have a rare up star though. I'm kind of hesitant to use it on this episode clip. Alright, so the only red box did not evolve, but we did get the normal box to evolve, so that's a pretty fascinating pool right there. So there's the notification that we have costume points for Kaname's new costume. Of course, you can use episode orbs to unlock the costume. Okay, so now that the luck has gone to Kaname, I don't know whether I want to pull mid maze gacha. Uh, it's gonna be like a very big waste of 500 stones right there if I don't get it. You know, considering that uh, appearance weight rate for mid maze 7 star or 6 star form is a 1% chance. I mean, it's definitely higher than most gacha games out there. Well, some of them uh, at least. Uh, but I still have to try my luck because with Freya's and Mimi's 7 star plates out right now, I'm back to missing 2 7 star plates within my collection. So, definitely, Min Maze is the most important, like I said in my um, gacha video for both Freya and Min Maze 7 star. Min Maze is definitely the way to go because Freya already has one 7 star episode plate out and I've already got that fully evolved. So, and yeah, so let's do this. I'm gonna try. At least try. If you don't try, you won't know whether you succeed or fail. So, lessons in life. There we go. So, no loading. So, that's kind of worrying. Uh huh. So, the lock has ended with just that Kanami. <laughs> oh, dang. 
This is just horrible. Okay. I have accepted my fate. Alright. So, yeah, it seems like my theory on um, if you had a good day's worth of food, the chances are higher that you might get something better. So, Kanami's gacha pool was really, really based on luck. Okay. There we go. So yeah, horrible, horrible as expected. <laughs> Shouldn't have pulled it, but you know, it was the last day for Minmei 7 star, so... Uh, like I said, if you don't try, you won't know whether you will succeed or fail. If you do succeed, good for you. <laughs> if you fail, then well, take it with a pinch of salt. Life moves on. So I do have enough for the next gacha that's coming up for the Red Boss event, so... I guess that's the end of today, or maybe, I don't know, I don't really want to use the Rare Up Star to unlock Kaname's costume, although I can do it, but I have other more important costumes to unlock right now, um, so I don't know, let's let's see how things go. So until then guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Uka Micro's Gacha videos. Hopefully your Gacha pools have been way better than mine, I got pretty lucky with Kaname's pool. Please don't rely on this kind of luck when it comes to gacha pools that is definitely not worth your real physical money if you are buying stones from the stone store. Um, and of course if you are free to play player, please, please um, try my theory out. If you guys have not watched the video, I'll link it at the end of this video. Um, just click on the video, go and check it out why I think that theory is probably the best theory out there so far. Um, and yeah, you use your singing stones wisely and hopefully uh, you get something awesome. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, all the best. Bye.